now you will learn how to find your Binance wallet addresses step by step on the Binance website, Binance mobile app and on the Binance Web3 wallet. But first, a quick but important note. When you are using Binance Exchange, you are using a crypto account, not a personal wallet. It means that you can send, receive and trade crypto, but Binance has the control of your money. You are not the only one in control. It's kinda similar to how a bank holds your money. If you have money on the Binance app, you are taking a counterparty risk. So if Binance go down, you may lose it all. It's a similar risk that you have when you are holding money in your bank. With Binance Web3 Wallet, you will have a better control over your money, but I still wouldn't recommend holding massive amounts in a mobile wallet. All that being said, let me start showing you how to find your Binance address using your computer. The first step is to click a yellow deposit button. You can find it here on the top or here deposit. Let me click it here on the top. Next you choose here deposit crypto. Next choose the coin and the correct network that you want to use. I will give you examples of three different coins because there are a little bit different cases with each one. Let's say you want to find your USDT address, you click right here USDT and then you select the network. You want to double check that you are using the same network on both ends here on Binance and also on other platform that you are using to send money to Binance. Let's take for example BSCB and B Smart Chain. I click right here and then it will show you the address and also the QR code. You can copy the address by clicking here this button and then it's successfully copied. Or you can highlight it and then copy but the best way is usually to click this one so you don't miss out any letters or numbers. Let me show you how to find your Binance address for other coins as well. You click right here. Then let's take BTC and here you can select network. BTC, Lightning and BSC20. BTC is the normal Bitcoin network. BSC is fast and usually has low fees. But Lightning is almost instant and usually has the lowest fees. Keep in mind that Binance doesn't charge deposit fees, but if you are withdrawing money from another platform, that another platform may take you some withdrawal fees. But depositing on Binance is free from the Binance's side. Let me click here Lightning. And here Lightning works a little bit differently than other methods. Here you will choose your deposit amount. Maximum is at the moment of recording this video 0.01 BTC for Lightning and then I click here create invoice. And again it gives you the QR code and the invoice which is longer than the typical address. But Lightning is extremely convenient if you want to deposit fast and without almost any fees. Let me give you a third example. You take off this, then you click here XRP. Then if I select network, let me choose your XRP as an example. Now with XRP and also with some other coins, there are two things required. You will need to have the address and also the memo. It says here both address and memo is required or you will lose your coins. So make sure to double check always that you are using both. The same also with XLM, you can see here XLM, Stellar Network. And again, both address and memo is required or you will lose your coins. No matter what coin you are depositing, remember to double check three things. Correct coin, correct network and the correct deposit address. And in some cases also the fourth thing, which is the memo. Next, let me show how you can find your Binance wallet addresses on the Binance app and also on the Binance Web3 wallet that you can find right here. On the Binance Exchange app, you can click here add funds on the top or you can go into assets and here you can choose for example spot, you click here add funds and here you can choose on-chain deposit. Here you can again choose any of the coins that you want to see your wallet address for for example BTC and then again you get the chance to choose the network for example BNB Smart Chain BEP20 I click right here and here again you will see your BTC deposit address in BNB Smart Chain 
BEP20. You can copy it by clicking this button right here. The same also with other currencies, for example USDT, you click right here and here you can choose any of the networks. The most important thing is to choose the same network on Binance and on the platform from where you are sending money into your Binance address. For example again BNB Smart Chain BEB20. It shows you the QR code and the deposit address so you can choose which one you want to use. By the way if you are using QR code with another phone you can simply scan it and then it will put the deposit address automatically. But if you are doing the transfer within just one phone then you can simply use this copy button right here and copy paste the address manually. And the same also for the phone deposits. If you want to find your memo, you click right here. Then I click here XRP Ledger. And here it shows you the deposit address and also the memo. And it says the same thing. Memo is required or you will lose your coins. And now if you want to find your real wallet address, you can go here into wallet because the previous ones that I showed you they are for your Binance account. Now this is on the other hand a real crypto wallet also known as Binance Web3 wallet. And here you can click this yellow button receive and here it says receive tokens via address. They may change the text in the future but it's something like receive, deposit or something similar. You click right here and you should get to the screen where you can choose which coin you want to deposit. For example if I click your USDT and here again I can choose the network and you can see this Binance wallet. It supports even more networks than the Binance Exchange or Binance app. Let's take here for example Ethereum ERC20. Here it shows for you the QR code and here it shows the address for you. And again remember to use the right coin in the right network or otherwise you may lose your money. Same also with other coins. Let's say you want to deposit BTC. I click right here. But then I click here Taproot. And here it will show the Bitcoin address in the Bitcoin network. Again I can use the QR code or the code. Now do you want to learn how to use also other features on Binance? For example here on the trading section they have automated trading tools. Do you want to learn also how to do spot trading and futures trading step by step and see my own trades in practice? Do you want to see the results of my copy trading because many of my YouTube subscribers have copied my trades? You will learn that and much much more on my Binance playlist where I have more than 200 video tutorials. I will show you how to use different Binance tools every step of the way. So simply take one of your fingers right now, click right here in the corner and learn to use Binance step by step.